Chuck Ryan's Open Door Policy on Drugs Inside Prisons by Carl Torsman's former Deputy Warden Iman Complex, Florence, Arizona. This video is about drugs inside Arizona prisons, based on a story written by Bob Ortega, an Arizona Republic reporter who shed some light on major drug issues inside our prisons where Chuck Ryan, the prison director, has admitted he has an open door policy for drugs coming into the prisons. He openly admits corrupt staff and staff misconduct related to drug interdiction as well as drug introduction. He claims to have a solid policy in place but forgets that the practice deviates from the written guidelines because of a culture of high tolerance to complacency, human and good equipment resource shortages that include the use of aging metal detectors and short staffing visitation rooms so drugs can be exchanged freely and likely without consequences. Bob also reports corrections officials say that drugs, cell phones, and other contraband can enter persons ver via visitors. Incoming mail, off-site inmate work crews, and staff corrections director Charles Ryan noted an incident two years ago at the Lewis in which a correction officer called bringing in burrito stuff for two cell phones and a package of marijuana, but he says the inmate visitors are the biggest source of drugs. He continues to write, we have visitors who may secrete contraband in body cavities and then pass it to an inmate who will secrete it in his body cavity. To combat that, he says the department has drug detection equipment, including cell phone detection dogs. We also search visitors through a screening device where a fan blows across the visitor. The dog sits on the other side of the mesh wire and alerts or does not alert. Sadly, this is a total distraction by Director Ryan. It shows he's leaning to blame the visitors and not his own staff for poor management practices, weak drug interdiction procedures, and with his apathy towards correcting the problems. He embraces corruptive culture that exists within the system and allows more drugs to flow than there are on any ordinary street near you. Knowing firsthand that the front entrance to the facilities are rarely manned except during the start or the end of a shift, there are gaps of opportunity for corrupt staff to bring in illegal drugs and cell phones. Just by going back and forth to their car through the same entrance they came in without being checked by a staff member or worse, someone who's conspiring to assist them or contract to sell drugs and cell phones inside of prisons. Poor staffing patterns, excessive number of pull posts and shut posts have severely hampered the agency's ability to reduce the drug flow as staff are redirected to other essential services that allows this breach to exist through deep and deliberate indifference of consequences related to drug use in the prison and development of a high tolerance of drug use and drug use related deaths inside Arizona prisons. It's presumed that Mr. Ryan's going to ask the legislature for more boots on the ground to help with the work that has to be done inside prisons. I also suspect the entire strategy to get more funding and more staffings to allow failures such as drugs, suicide, homicides, and serious assault on staff and inmates to occur and continue so that there will be justified reasons for asking for more money and more staff, but in fact, he's not maximizing his resources today. In the meantime, there will be drug overdoses and related deaths that will be listed as either under investigation or natural death categories to avoid the heat of mismanagement, and staff will continue to be assaulted at the highest rate ever inside Arizona prisons. This is what the presence of drug does to the environment. It creates violence. This tolerance toward violence has placed a correctional officer in the mix of this gladiator school called prison. Unfortunately, officers and employees are being assaulted because of drugs and the battle for controlling the drugs. Searches will result in confiscation, but officers stand to risk harm when doing their jobs. We thank Bob Ortega and the Arizona Republic. The link.